Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you're receiving payment at the time of sale and you fill out a sales receipt, QuickBooks records a customer payment. When you invoice a customer and you receive payment on that invoice at a later point in time, you enter the payment into the QuickBooks Receive Payments window. This window allows you to match the customer payment received to the customer invoice. You can open this window by selecting customers from the menu bar and then choosing the Receive Payments command. The simplest payment case occurs when a customer has one outstanding invoice and sends you a payment for the full amount. However, you can also enter partial payments if you receive those. You can even select to which invoices you apply the payment amount. If you have one payment, you can also apply the amount to multiple jobs as well. QuickBooks can also handle prepayments, down payments, and overpayments. In this chapter, you will look at the different ways that you can handle customer payments. To enter a full payment that you receive, start by selecting the customer or customer job from whom you are receiving the payment from the Received From drop-down in the Receive Payments window. Any unpaid invoices for the selected customer or customer job will then be displayed at the bottom of the window. Next, enter the amount of the payment into the Amount text box. Use the Payment Method drop-down to select the method of payment. If necessary, enter the check number into the check number or reference check number in 2003 through 2004 field if the payment was made by check. At the bottom of the window, ensure that you have a check mark placed in front of the invoice against which you are receiving payment. Also make sure that you have the correct payment date entered by using the date calendar dropdown. Now if you're using QuickBooks 2003 or 2004, in the lower left corner of this window, you then select either the option to group this amount with other undeposited funds or deposit to, and this decides where the money is to be placed. If you receive checks, you will probably want to place them into the undeposited funds asset account until you can group the different checks and other amounts that you will deposit at the bank together in order to make a lump deposit by using the Make Deposits window. This allows you to make the amounts that you deposit in QuickBooks match the deposit amounts recorded by your financial institution, which will make account reconciliation go much more smoothly. If you're receiving a credit card payment, you may want to select the option to deposit to, and then select the account to which the funds will be deposited. Note that for QuickBooks 2005 and 2006, you simply choose into which account to deposit the funds from the Deposit To drop-down in the upper section of the Receive Payments window. You can still choose either the Undeposited Funds account or one of the other bank type accounts that you have created. In QuickBooks 2007 through 2011, all funds collected through this window are placed into the Undeposited Funds account by default. Now when you have finished receiving customer payments, Click the Save and Close button to save and close the Receive Payments window. If you have other customer payments to process, then you may find that it is easier to click the Save and New button to save the transaction, but leave the Receive Payments window open. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.